You're watching SBCTA Today, bringing you the latest San Bernardino County transportation updates to keep you moving. We're starting off the year on the right track as we recently welcomed the new eco-friendly diesel multiple unit train or DMU to its new home right here in San Bernardino. In preparation of rolling out the new nine mile aero rail service connecting San Bernardino and Redlands. The railroad industry and its technology continues to improve and evolve each day and they've reached a new era of innovation that is underway right here in San Bernardino County. And we've got a front row seat. A cleaner, quieter, and more cost-effective way to operate the future of rail service rolled into town earlier this year with the DMUs. Like putting together a puzzle, it took more than 20 crew members, large cranes, and nearly 24 hours to remove the new train and its parts from the freight cars and to assemble the sleek white, blue, and green DMUs. But how are they different than today's trains? Well, in more ways than one. But the key answer is right here. The future of improved train travel is here, eliminating the need for a separate locomotive or conventional push-pull train set like what we typically see on Metrolink's commuter rail lines today. The DMU includes two cars joined together by an onboard hybrid low-emission diesel and electric power system, integrating the cleanest diesel technology available to generate electricity to turn the traction motors at the wheel sets. Even smells so new. I love it. This is great. Not only are the new DMU vehicles beautiful, but they enhance function as well. The passenger cars will offer more than 100 comfortable seats with tables and room for standing passengers. They offer 12 bike racks and include wide entrance doors for ADA accessibility and low floor vehicle level boarding at all passenger doors. The nice thing about it is that these USB ports right over here that are going to be, that everyone's going to love that. One of the big things I like about it is this right here, putting, having those uh, overhead racks to put things on as you're, as you're riding instead of trying to find places under your seat or in the aisleway. The DMUs are one step closer to a greener commute, offering passengers and the surrounding communities a cleaner, substantially quieter transit option than a diesel locomotive. SBCTA's innovation, ingenuity, and commitment to our county's sustainable future to reconnect San Bernardino and Redlands in an efficient, economical, and environmentally responsible way starts here. I think it's so incredibly important to tell the full and complete story about what's behind me here. We have to talk about the beginning. We have to talk about the initial measure I, uh, putting the study money in to talk about r rail to Redlands. Um, but leadership of Pat Gilbreth in Redlands, uh, Larry McAllen in Highland, Pat Morris in San Bernardino, all the way to now President uh, Kurt Hagman and Vice President Art Bishop uh, to carry the torch. DMUs can also accelerate and decelerate at greater speeds than their locomotive counterpart, making them ideal when stations are located close together. This functionality will enhance travel times and on-time performance, while the DMUs are making their 25 daily round trips between the San Bernardino Transit Center and the University of Redlands. DMU vehicles are designed to operate on existing infrastructure, meaning they will work interoperably on the same track as Metrolink and freight train services, allowing more flexibility to integrate into Metrolink service area west of the San Bernardino Transit Center in the future. Today, the DMU trains offer a smart, clean, efficient, and effective way for moving people, bringing us one step closer to tomorrow, where San Bernardino County will welcome the first zero emission multiple unit train, or ZMU in the United States, truly transforming how commuter rail is operated in Southern California and across the nation. Before passengers can ride the new DMUs and use the new service, train testing is required and currently underway. Both Metrolink and DMU trains are being used to test the tracks and signals at crossings and communication systems throughout the Aero Corridor to ensure they are operating properly before service begins later this year. For more information, visit gosbcta.com slash arrow. We plan, we build, you move.